Good evening. In this video, I'll discuss about Anderson and Xiao method in R Studio. Before going through this video, kindly go through introduction part of dynamic panel data. Well, when I talk about Anderson and Xiao estimator, as per them, first difference or level of second difference of dependent variable is considered as an instrument variable. It can be represented like difference in dependent variable equal to coefficient of difference of dependent variable minus 1 plus coefficient of difference in independent variable plus difference of error term. Basically, in Anderson and Xiao estimator, we considered as differencing of the variables because it removes unabsorbed heterogeneity. Akemoglu et al. 2008 considered level of second dependent variable as an instrument variable. So, next is when the level of second dependent variable is considered as an instrumental variable, the correlation between lag second of dependent variable and difference of error term is not found. But lag second of dependent variable is correlated with difference of dependent variable minus 1. Hence, instrument variable cannot exploit all the available moment condition. Now, let's talk how to run in R still. I have data set of employment and ways of UK in which informations of firm, year, sector, employment which is denoted by AMP, ways, capital and output are given. I will be using this AMP and ways as dependent and independent variables in this Anderson and Xiao estimator model. I'll be talking about Anderson and Xiao method with the help of three different steps. A step first talks about installation and loading of PLM package. I have already installed and loaded this PLM package. Then step two talks about creating the panel data. Hence, I'm going to create panel data in the name of pdata, then equal to pdata.frame and uh, file name that is employee uk and uh, index equal to c then firm then year and enter now p data has been created after that i will apply this command for Anderson and Xiao method in R Studio. So let's understand this command. PLM means panel linear model, then difference of employment, which is our dependent variable, then lag first of difference of employment, lag 
first of difference of wages these are my independent variables then year minus 1 has been written in order to control the effect of year or timing or duration then the vertical bar is given so this is vertical bar anderson and xiao method basically classifies the module in two different categories the first category up to this from plm to year minus one is related with dependent and independent variable then we are supposed to write vertical bar and then we have treated up to this as instrumental variables like lag second of employment and lag second of ways so these two variables are treated as instrument variables and again year minus one has been written in order to control the effect of timing and then data equal to p data and model equal to polling after that press on enter now model one has been created and then simply i write here summary model one and enter well this is the outcome of uh, anderson and xiao estimator so it has been clearly mentioned here instrumental variable estimation then this is about uh, summary of residuals the more interesting thing is p-value of this model is less than 5% which is significant and we can say that this model is fit now talking about lag differencing of employment which is significant and lag difference of ways is not significant similarly when you see the time effect from 1978 to 1984 out of them only 1981 is significant well this Anderson and Xiao method does not exploit all the available moment condition. Hence, it is consistent but not efficient. In next video, I'll discuss about GMM model. Thank you very much.